How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today um, I'm coming on here and doing a quick review for you guys, a demonstration and review. I'm partly, I got my like eye makeup on, like some mascara and did my eyebrows and my eye makeup, but I don't have any of the rest of my um, makeup on. The reason is, is I had promised you guys when I showed a video of some items that were sent to me. This is the Pure Cameo Contour. It's the dual ended contour. It says contour and foundation. Um, the box is kind of rather shiny, so I don't want to blind you guys. So, um, And it comes in various shades, all the way up from uh, there's a light, medium, tan, dark, and deep, or deep and dark, however you want to say. I believe there's like five to six shades range. And it's $39 and 50 cents. It's from the company Pure Cosmetics. Now I am not getting paid to do this. It's not going to be like a sponsored video. They did send me the products to give a go and to review them, give them a try and give my opinion and my thoughts on them. Um, and I will be doing it on my blog also. So I'm, it's not like a sponsored video or anything like that. And it's not like they're paying me. They did send me the products and I did get them for free. So that's about the whole go of it all. So I forgot to tell you guys. So anyway, I do have several shades, but the shades I've worked between for myself, being as I am fair complexion, is uh, light and the medium. And what it comes with um, is a sponge. It's similar to, I guess, like the uh, beauty blender sponge slash um, real techniques and when I say slash you know like on the real te techniques they have that slant on theirs but the beauty blender doesn't quite have that slant where it gets like right in or real techniques has the slant that where it gets right in where the beauty blender doesn't have that but it reminds me of the beauty blender as in just the way it looks in general, like the rounded bottom part to it. I've never used the Beauty Blender, so I can't c compare this to it. So I'm not going to be sitting here comparing this at all and telling you guys, you know, for that comparison. And I have used this, I have, I've been using this pretty much, now I'm not going to say every single time I was putting my makeup on. There was days where, you know, like I was um, doing other things and trying under other things, but I have been using this at least two weeks worth of, of, of time. And I feel that's, that's good enough to kind of give an opinion. So I did want to give it a go and give it a fair shot and play around with it for a while. So, and I don't see, I mean, other than it's kind of dirty and it's cleaned or anything, I haven't really had any problems with the um, sponge thing, and I, and I really like it. If there's any comparison to it, I mean, the Beauty Blender, it's, it's quite nice, quite nice little sponge. Okay, and then this is what the product looks like itself. Now they're considering this like a foundation. Um, I was thinking it was highlight and foundation. I was thinking it was like highlight, foundation, slash contouring kind of a thing. So this is what the item looks like. Like I said, the one end has the contour darker shade. The other side has like the foundation slash highlight kind of a thing. So you open up this one end here and it does have a uh, protector thing. And inside is the product, which that's the contour. Um, one that's the darker shade and of course you twist it up and there you go of course on the other side is the lighter shade which you can use according to it like foundation slash um, foundation slash uh, like highlight kind now I'll be honest I don't really use this as a foundation I do use it in the way that it describes on the back of the box of how you can use it as in 
um, this side here, like that's they're saying that's like you can use for foundation. I just use it like under my eyes area. I do put it down below here, like after I contour, um, and I do uh, you know like places that I would want um, more light brought to, like more light brought to my face, you know, like a highlighting kind of kind of thing. So I w I'm gonna show you like what I would normally do when I'm doing this. So what I normally do since um, there's certain areas that I put the product, I don't wanna over, I'm not somebody that likes to put too much stuff like build, 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 build. I, I know some people do that, I don't like doing that, but I just feel like as we get more mature and as we're, you know, getting more, more, more of the mature skin and older skin, um, I kinda wanna stick with, uh, you know, simple things here. So I'm going to use the BB Argon uh, from Physicians Formula. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to actually put it like around my cheek area and, you know, places that I'm not fully going to be putting that other product. So I'm just going to do like around like cheek area, maybe go down around here just a little bit. this little spongy thing to make sure that everything got blended in okay I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna do the light side first so I'm gonna do this here that's considered like um, highlighting and foundation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take it starting from here and go the whole way down and up like people do as the all famous triangle and then bring it over I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit right over here by the brow above the brow I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down the bridge of my nose <laughs> I'm just gonna look real lovely here if you can already see me here and in there a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit down here, and a little bit above my lip area, you know, places that sometimes we kinda wanna have everything come together. I like to put right below where the contour's at, but sometimes I like to do it after I do the contour, just so I can get a more, more full on idea for myself. Now I'm gonna use the flatter side while I'm going under my eye and I'm just gonna go ahead and work that in along in there and it does set I know because it does say that it sets to um, like it goes from a cream to a powder yes it does um, I myself really haven't had no problems with anything settling in anywhere, you know, like settling in um, any fine lines or anything like that. But I just, I, when I'm doing this, I, I do just, if you've used the Beauty Blender, you'll know what I'm talking about. Where it's like a springing action, like where you bounce it, I guess, actually, not springing, bounce action. Um, that's kind of what I do. Up this way, I'll do it a little bit more gentler of course now for me I do set a little bit under there but for the most part I don't really feel like I need to set anything under my eye because now mind you I love the L'Oreal miracle blur for under the eyes I think that's a big key that helps me a lot of times with a lot of my concealers that might not settle I mean it could be the product itself but I do use that to help for that fact so please do keep that part in that part in mind okay I'm gonna go ahead and use the dark shade for right now so I did there did there you can see um, I like to do a little bit here because I do contour this area. 
and then I am going to go ahead and it, it does glide nicely sometimes I do have a little bit of a hard time but it does glide nicely to go down to if you want to contour your nose area That's what I do when I'm doing the contouring kind of a thing this time I'm going to use the bottom part of the sponge the rounded part and that's the part that I'm going to use to do my contouring um, to blend it in and bounce it bounce it about Guess what? I forgot something I forgot to contour around my head <laughs> oops so yes I do contour here and go up and around and bring it down and kind of connect. Oops, forgot that part. Sorry. Then what I do is I will take the light shade again and I will go right below where I contoured at to um, kind of, you know, highlight it a little bit more there. To keep the contour looking a little bit sharper, you know, if at all possible, because I'm really trying to practice all this stuff. I don't go real heavy, but I want it to be there, you know, to kind of shape my cheeks and all and stuff and whatever. So I'll be back because I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then I will do my final. Sorry, right, beauty. So I am finished with my look. Um, I just threw on a few other things. So, all right, for the product itself, I do really like the product. I think it's a I think it's a wonderful concept in doing contouring. I do like the idea because I haven't been one to try a lot of cream contours and highlighting kind of a thing. So I do like that um, a little bit better when I'm when I'm working with contouring. Um, I kind of found it much easier and have learned a little bit more from doing it. Um, the other thing is, is I do like that it goes from cream to powder. Um, I have felt since like when I do use this within a look whenever I'm, you know, getting ready and everything, um, is the fact like I only use a CC cream or BB cream or something like that or tinted moisturizer. I don't normally... Um, I think maybe once I did, but I don't normally take any foundation and put it on anywhere. I mostly use the BB, CC, BB cream, CC cream, or tinted moisturizer, and I put it on certain areas, like on my cheeks and, and that, um, and just kind of get work it in. Um, I don't work it under around the eye area, like from around under here, I don't do it. Um, as you've seen, I didn't even put no, I didn't even put no concealer on, and I don't think it's bad at all. I, if you notice that, um, so I think for all, you know, the coverage that it can do, and the way it sets, it gives me a nice natural look. I don't feel too cakey. I, I haven't noticed any cakiness. I haven't felt. Um, any greasiness um, mind you my skin is combination of dry skin so do keep that in mind um, somebody 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 with oily skin um, I you know I don't see why not as long as you use a primer and it's like a mattifying primer and then you put this on I don't think it's really gonna give you that much of a hard time or problem putting it on um, I would say give it a go and give it a try. I don't see why it wouldn't um, because it does set to a powder, mind you, once you do put the products on. Um, it doesn't stay on, um, you know, like real wet or slick or anything like that. It actually, you know, feels soft and everything. 
um, $39.50, I, I kind of somewhat had thought, you know, like it does seem kind of a steep price. I mean, I'm just going to be honest, it does. But I guess the, the things that I, I try to go back and forth on, so this really will be your judgment on that part yourself, you know, like what you think or what you would want to do. Um, I personally love the concept and I personally would purchase this product. I'm not saying that because they sent it to me for free, you know, I mean, I am liking the product and I would purchase it um, as long. I would repurchase it as long as it would last me a good while. Um, if I went through it too quick and too fast, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, to me, that would be the only problem that I would have. If I went through it real quick and fast and paid that price, um, I had know some people had had problems with the Smashbox ones, the Smashbox crayon ones. Uh, the biggest complaint, like I, I know a lot of people loved them and they worked really great and the coloring was was really great and everybody loved them. The part that now a lot of people were complaining about was they did go through them pretty quick and pretty fast. And for a steep price, you know, you want the product to last you at least a good while. So, um, but you have to think you are getting a nice blender sponge. You are getting a nice sponge, like a nice beauty blender kind of a sponge. I'm not sure what they would call this one because it's not the original beauty blender, but it is very durable. Um, I have used it several times, like I said, what, last couple weeks or maybe even close to a month now since I've been playing around with this product and there is no, um, it's, other than it's dirty, there's no really wear and tear on it, like no coming apart or anything like that. It feels pretty, pretty good. Um, so you are getting both these products for that price. So I guess also keep that in mind too. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would tell, um, you know, somebody wanted to know about any cream contours. I haven't played with a lot of them. So this is the one I have played with and I would recommend it to somebody and let them know that Pure uh, Cosmetics does have a contouring and highlighting stick. Um, great for travel. You could take this with you. Um, that was the other thing I was thinking about. This would be great for traveling or on the go. If you're out with the girls or something or on your date, you could put it in your purse, open this up, and if you needed just that little extra coverage somewhere or something, um, you could go ahead and take your finger and dab in there, you know, and work it in if you wanted to. Um, same part for the dark part, like if there was something you wanted to contour or touch, you know, up any places of contouring or anything like that. Um, I think that would be the other thing for this product because you could easily put it in your purse. I believe that is all I have to say about the product. I really do like it and um, I'm super glad and thank you Pure Minerals very much for sending me the products. I feel super honored to be able to give these products a try and give my review and my um, thoughts on them. All right, beauties, so thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and it would get my videos out there more. Um, also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You could join me each week. Um, it's just all random beauty things. Just never know. It's just whatever, just any, any beauty things. Um, I tag sometimes here and there too. And also, beauties, just please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys all take care, and I will see you then. I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support and kind words that you guys, each one of you guys, leave me in the comments and below. I just am sometimes speechless when I have read some of the comments that you guys say, and the comments, the compliments, everything. Um, you're, you're, you give me such inspiration and such wonderful support and I just, I really, really, truly mean it from the bottom of my heart and I do promise you guys, I'm trying to work to my 1K, I'm getting closer to 1K and I can't even believe it because like I never would think that, you know, I could get to that point. Um, I just started my channel just for the heck of it kind of a thing in the beginning and just after a while really took my passion for beauty in general, you know, just furthermore and just am loving and loving it and having fun with it all. 
So yeah, once I get to my 1K and once I get to that point, I really want to show you guys my appreciation and I will be working on a giveaway for you guys. So yeah, so thank you so much again and I love you guys. Mwah. Take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.